Hello, my dear. Welcome to Yuva Janaya Doubtfire's house. No, Brett's apartment. Well, let's see. Things are on the upswing for me, so I've decided I'd film a news with Brett in my apartment. But on the flip side, I don't really think it should be news with Brett anymore. I mean, it kind of got old. I'd said the same thing over and over again, cut it really quick, and then ended the same way, saying the same old thing. Welcome to News with Brett. Welcome to News with Brett today. Welcome to News with Brett today. Welcome to News with Brett. Welcome to News with Brett. Welcome to News with Brett. <laughs> <laughs> and there wasn't any news. Today I am on vacation. Technically it's Saturday, so I'm just on Saturday. So why call it News with Brett if it's not news? It was with Brett, but it wasn't news. I mean, a lot of stuff was like old news, but I guess I'm one to have usually done that in my life. Like the time the pool broke in the backyard and the water went everywhere. I went in so excited to tell, uh, what was her name? Robin Elke? Yeah, I went, I went in to tell her and she said, Brett, that's old news. I saw it from the window. Okay. So I will give you an update on my life a little bit. I had quite a period of illness from Christmas till two weeks ago. And I'd get sick, and then I'd get better, and then I'd get sick, and then I'd get better. And I feel like I'm really getting better this time. I cut caffeine. It's been two weeks, and it's, this time it's for good. I swear, I'm never touching that stuff again because I don't want to get addicted. So that's why you see me drinking caffeine-free stuff because I still like some sweet bubbly. I get paid this week. I'm really excited about that because this month I was expecting money that I didn't get and it made me kind of broke because I took the money I was expecting and paid it off a credit card. So I was kind of screwed. So interestingly enough, the, the news that's going on around the world about Japan and now their nuclear crisis, apparently people are freaking out about radiation and people are coming into the student health center asking for iodine prescriptions. Well, really, they won't do you that much good if there's trace amounts of radiation. Every day, as you walk along the Earth, you get radiation from two directions. You get it from the ground, from the mantle of the Earth, actually hitting you. And you get it from the sun, just like that, every day. So yeah, and, and that's what you call trace amounts, normal amounts that every living creature on the earth is designed to withstand and imagine adding mm, that much to it that's all now if you were in japan you might actually be concerned but here you don't have anything to worry about okay take it from me who once was a physics major who couldn't pass calculus integrals take it from me you're fine um life is exciting it feels good to be healthy and on top of things and I started exercising again and it feels great. In fact, I might even go after this. And the other thing is getting good sleep. It's amazing. You eat right, you don't drink caffeine, you exercise, and you sleep right. Your life will be amazing. You'll be able to handle the stresses that are normal. So, I told you this wasn't going to be news with Brett, but I just want to wish you... <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, I, I want to wish you a good day. I think it's self-evident that I had one. So you're going to have one, right? Bye.